There once was a creature who was a general, a representative, and later even a senator. His name was Jar Jar Banks. Stay tuned to find out how this clumsy creature got banished from his own civilization. First, let's look at the clip that got me wondering about this odd creature's past. Why were you banished, Jar Jar? It's a long old tale, but uh, a small part of it would be Miss uh, uh, Clumsy. You were banished because you were clumsy? Uh, you so mightn't be saying that. Okay, so we know from this clip that somehow he was banished from the Gungan civilization. But I always wondered how. Everyone he was around must have known that he was a very clumsy person. So what would he have to do to get cast away from his own kind? Like most young people, his life was ruined after he attended a party. Boss Nass, the leader of the Gungan civilization, was throwing a party in his mansion. To be nice to Jar Jar, he gave him a job working in the kitchen. Somehow, Jar Jar Binks was cooking, I assume, and eventually was able to completely destroy the oven, which somehow must have exploded or done something major to the city because it completely destroyed the dome and flooded Boss Nass's mansion. Jar Jar Binks attempted to save the, what was left of the mansion by trying to save Boss Nass's hay blibber, which was a nicer version of the Gungan Bongo. On his rescue mission, he crashed the hay blibber, and needless to say, the party was ruined. Boss Nass approached the Gungan High Council in a fury and asked to enact the Nakambaki Law, or the Gungan Law of Banishment, which stated that a Gungan could no longer return to any Gungan city or have the punishment of death. So that's how it works, kids. If you go to a party and make bad decisions, your life will get ruined. Needless to say, that's exactly what happened to Jar Jar Binks. I hope you enjoyed about hearing about our friend Jar Jar. May the force be with you.